Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how you can send bulk messages using WA Notifier. So using this tool, you can send unlimited messages to any contacts you want. Also, there are several other tools on the market to send bulk messages, but you need to use your WhatsApp web to send messages, which are against WhatsApp's terms and services. So if you use those methods, your WhatsApp number might get blocked. But the WA Notifier tool is completely safe to use because it uses the official WhatsApp Cloud API to send messages, which means it is authorized by WhatsApp. So without any delay, let's see how we can use WA Notifier to send messages. So this is the home page of WA Notifier. Now I have already created an account, so I'm going to log in. Then you will get this page to send bulk messages. First, you need to add all your contacts to this tool. For that, you need to create a contact list like this to whom you want to send the messages. You can add all the phone numbers with the customer details like this. But I'll show you how to create this list later in the video. So once you have a contact list, now you can go into contact, then import that contact list here. As you can see, we have got all the contact lists here, which we just imported. Next, we need to create a message template that we want to send to our customers. So just go into message template, click add new template, we give a name for the template, then enter the content here. And then here you can see a preview of your content. Now if you want, you can add a button at the end of the message. I'm going to add a call to action. So the button you add here will appear on your message like this. So that whenever the customer clicks on this link, they will be redirected to your website. So just enter the link of your website. Once you're done adding the content, we need to submit it for approval, which means the message we created will be sent to WhatsApp for approval. So once they approve it, we will be able to send this message to our customers. So just click submit. Now after some time, if you go back to this page, here you can see that the status has been changed to approve. Once this message has been approved, next we need to send this message to our customers. So just go to send message, click add, now enter any title you want, select the message type, select the contact list which you created, then select the message template which we created in the previous step. And finally, you can see the preview and click save and send. Then the message will be sent to all your contacts. So this is how you can send bulk messages to any of your contact. Now you can also track the status of your sent messages and see how many members have received and read them. To see that, just go to notification. Here you can see the message that has been sent and how many members have received it and read it. Now if we click here, you can clearly see who has read the messages. Okay, so this is how you can see the status of the messages that you have sent. Now let's say someone has replied to your message. How can you see that message? To check that, go to your inbox and here you can see all the messages that have been sent. And whenever the customer replies to your message, you will receive it here. So here you can read the message and reply to your customers. Okay, so this is how the WA Notifier tool works. So now let's see how we can set up this tool and start sending bulk messages. We will see this process step by step. Okay, I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's see how you can send bulk messages using WhatsApp Cloud API. Now before we start, make sure you have these four things. The first is to have a new phone number that is not already registered on WhatsApp. The second one is to have a registered business with some valid business documents. And the third one is to have a business website with a privacy policy page. And lastly, a payment method like a debit or a credit card. Once you're ready with all these things, next, let's see how you can send bulk messages using the WhatsApp Cloud API. Now, to do that, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to create an account on WA Notifier. To create an account, just click the link below this video and it will take you to the WA Notifier site. Now, click Get Started for free. Here, enter your details and click Sign Up. After that, you will get a link in your email to verify it. So, just click on the link to activate your account. And then, you will get a success message like this. Now, click on I understand and accept button. Then, you will get this page. Okay. So now we have successfully created an account on WA Notifier. Once you have created your account, now in order to send bulk messages using WhatsApp Cloud API, we need to first get these credentials. So we can now go to the next step, which is to get your WhatsApp Cloud API credentials. To get that, we are going to do five steps. The first step is to log into Facebook developer portal and create an app. So to log in, click here and then you will get this pop up. Now click this link, then enter your Facebook account details and click login. As you can see, we have now logged into Facebook's developer portal. 
Once you're logged in, next, we need to create an app for WhatsApp's Cloud API. Only then, we'll be able to send bulk messages. So to create your app, just click My Apps. Then click on Create App. And choose Business as an app type. Click Next. Now here, enter a name for your app. I'm going to enter WA Notifier. Here, select your business account. If you don't have a business account, you may leave it unselected and Facebook will automatically create a business account for you. Then click on Create App. And then you will get this page, which means we have successfully created an app. Once you have created an app, here we need to add a product to our app. Since we'll be using WhatsApp to send out bulk messages, click on Setup here. And then you will get this page. Okay, now we can go to the second step, which is to set up your phone number in WhatsApp Cloud API. To do that, click on Start using the API. Then scroll down and click on Add Phone Number. Now here you need to enter these details. First, let's enter a business name. So the name which you enter here will be visible to others when they receive a notification from WhatsApp. So I'm going to enter Shop Grocery now. I'm going to enter my business website URL here. Once that is done, choose the country. Then click Next. Now click here and choose your business category. And click Next. Then enter your phone number, which is not registered on WhatsApp. Once that is done, click Next. Enter your verification code, which you have received on your mobile. Again, click Next. And if we click here, you can see that our phone number has been added. Okay, so now we have successfully set up our phone number on WhatsApp Cloud API. Once you've done that, we can now go to the next step of getting WhatsApp Cloud API credentials, which is to configure webhooks. To do that, click on configuration here. Then click edit to edit webhook details. Now here we need to enter these details. To get these details, let's go back to this tab, then scroll down. And here you can see the details which we need to enter there. First, let's copy this URL. Then paste it here. Next, let's copy this verification token and paste it here. Once you have done that, click verify and save. And once you do that, click on manage. Then you will get this pop up. Now we need to subscribe to all these fields. Subscribing to all these fields is required for full integration with WA Notifier. So let's subscribe one by one. And click done. Okay, so now we have set up the webhooks. Now let's go to the fourth step, which is to generate the permanent access token. Now to generate the access token, first we need to create a user. So to do that, click on app dashboard and click business settings. Then click system users and then you will get this page where you can create a new user. To do that, click on I accept and click done. Here enter the name for the system user. I'm going to enter employee, then click here. Then select the system user role as admin. Once you're done, now click on this button and click done. Okay, once you have created a system user, now click on add assets. Then you will get this pop-up. Now click on apps. And then select the app which you have created. Then enable this option. And once you have done that, click on save changes. And finally, click done. Okay, now to get the access token, let's click generate new token. Then click here. And select your app. Now scroll down and select these two options which is WhatsApp Business Messaging and WhatsApp Business Management. Once you have done that, click on Generate Token. And as you can see, we have got the permanent access token. Now this is the access token which we will be using later in this video. So just copy this access token and paste it on the notepad. Once you have done that, let's click OK. Then we can go to the fifth step just to add a payment method. Now to send messages through WhatsApp Cloud API, we need to add our card details. So to add it, go to Accounts and click on WhatsApp Accounts. Then click on Settings. Click on Payment Methods. And then you will get this page. Now click on Add Payment Method. Then select the currency. And click Next. Then again, click next. Enter your card details. 
And once you're done, click save. As you can see, we have successfully added the payment method. Once you've added the payment method, finally to get the WhatsApp Cloud API credentials, we need to change the app mode to live. So to do that, let's go to this tab. Then enable this button here. Here you can see that we have got a message that says we need to add a privacy policy URL. So to add it, let's click here and then you will get this page. Now here you need to add the privacy policy URL. So let's go to our privacy policy page, then copy this URL, then come back and paste it here. Then click here and choose your category. Once you're done, click save changes. Now to change your app mode to live, enable this button. Once you have done that, now let's go to WhatsApp and click get started. Then click here and make sure your phone number is selected. And here you can see that we have successfully got the credentials. Now we can go ahead and add the credentials there. So first let's copy this phone number ID, paste it here. Next, let's copy this WhatsApp business account ID and then paste it here. Once you have done that, let's enter the permanent access token which we have saved on our notepad. So let's copy this access token and paste it here. Once you have added the credentials, click on save and validate and it will be redirected to this dashboard. Okay, so now we have successfully added the WhatsApp Cloud API credentials. So here we can start sending bulk messages. Okay. Now let's go to the final step of this video where we see how to send messages to all your customers. To send messages, first we need to add all the contact details of our customer. So to add it, just go to contacts, then click add new. Here, enter the details of your customers one by one. Or if you want, you can upload all your contacts at once from your Google Sheet. So to add all your contacts, just click on import contacts and you will get this page. Now click here and then you will get this pop-up. Now if we click here, it will take you to this Google Sheet where you can see some sample data. Now let's copy this Google Sheet and replace the sample data with our contacts. So let's take a copy. Then remove only the sample data which are over here. Now to add all your contacts here, just go to your Google Sheet where you have stored all your contact list. Now let's copy the data. Come back to this Google Sheet. Paste the data here. And once that is done, here you can see that these fields are empty right now. So you can enter these details for your reference. In the status field, you can enter whether they are subscribed or unsubscribed. Next, in this list name field, enter the type of list the contact belongs to. Finally, you can enter any tags here. Okay, once you're done adding all the contacts and its details, we'll download this Google Sheet in a CSV format. Just go to File, then go to Download, and click on CSV File. As you can see, the Google Sheet has been downloaded. Now to add this contact list, let's go to WA Notifier, then click here, and select the Google Sheet which we just downloaded. Now if we click import CSV, as you can see, we have successfully added the contacts at once. Now if we click on contacts, here you can see the contact list which we added. Okay, once you have added all your contact lists at once, now to send bulk messages to all these customers, let's create a message template. To do that, click here, click add new, then you will get this page. Now here we can create a message template. So first, we need to give a name for this template. I am going to type new sales offer and then make sure you have selected the category type as marketing and choose the header type you want. You can either add text or media as a header. I am going to choose media. Then here, select the type of media. I want to add an image so I'll leave it as it is. Now to add the image, just click here, select the image you want and click open. And as you can see, the image is added. Next, enter the content you want to send. 
And once that is done, here you can see the preview of the message you created. Now let's say you want to add a call to action button to your message. All you have to do is click here and select the one you want. I'm going to choose call to action. Here you can select the number of buttons you want. I'm going to let it be as it is and then enter your website's URL. So that when someone clicks on this button, it'll take them to your site. Now here you can type the button text you want. I'm going to enter visit website. Okay, once you have added all the details, now if we click submit for approval, as you can see, it says it'll take 24 to 48 hours to get approval from WhatsApp. Once you have created a message template, now to send bulk messages, we need to create a notification. To do that, click on notifications. Now click on add new. Then you will get this page. Here enter the title of the notification. And select the notification type as marketing. And then select the contact list to which you want to send the notification. Now if you click here, you can see that we can select whether we want to send it now or schedule it for later. I'm going to choose this. Then click here and select your message template that we created. Once you're done, now to send bulk WhatsApp messages, click save and send. And our customers will receive our messages on their WhatsApp. And also they can click here and see your profile. Okay, so now we have successfully sent all the messages in bulk. Now let's check the status of the messages which we just sent. To check that, go back to WA Notifier. Click on notifications and here you can see the status of your notification. So if we click this clock icon, here you can see the status of the messages which we sent. This is how you can check the status of your messages. Okay, now let's say you've got a reply from a customer and you want to check it and chat with the customer directly. How can you do that? So to chat with the customer directly, all you have to do is just close this, then go to inbox and here you can see that we have got a reply from a customer. Now if we open it, here you will see the message which we received. You can type your message here and chat with the customer directly. So this is how you can chat with your customer. Okay, now you know how to send bulk messages. Next, let's say a customer has purchased a product from your site and you want to send a transactional message. So all you have to do is click on integration. Now here you can see that there are different platforms like WooCommerce, Gravity Forms, and contact forms and so on. So here you can select which platform you want to integrate with and send all the transactional messages directly from that. Now in the free plan of WA Notify, we can add up to 500 contacts. Now if you want to add more than 500 contacts, you can upgrade your plan. And here you will get different plans to choose from. Also, we have a coupon code for you, which gives you a 15% discount. So you can find the coupon code in the description below, which you can use to purchase the plan you want. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can send bulk messages using WhatsApp Cloud API. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.